Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a very, very easy recipe for you today. It's my birthday, guys, and let me tell you, I am so excited, I'm so excited. It's COVID, and you know most of us don't wanna go nowhere. So I decided to stay home today and just chill. It's okay, I don't have to go out. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. But I came across this video and this recipe, I mean, and I realized a lot of, it's a Puerto Rican version of eggnog. During the Christmas season, I was trying to find a recipe for eggnog without eggs and it popped up on my YouTube feed. So I decided to try it. Guys, it is so, so delicious. Let me tell you, it tastes like ice cream. And if you love coconut, you love rum and you love ice cream. If you're on a diet, don't drink this drink, okay? <laughs> no, listen. You cannot be on a diet and have this drink. This drink is a treat. So because it's my birthday, it's okay. I can have it. It's my birthday. So anyways, come with me. Let me show you how to make this quick, easy drink. Okay, so here are all the ingredients that I'm going to be using in this drink. I have a coconut condensed milk and a regular condensed milk. I just wanted to give give option. This recipe asks for evaporated milk, cream of coconut, coconut milk, and of course, they use Bacardi rum, but I have Ray and Nephew. So it's very easy. I'm just going to go ahead and dump everything in my blender. So here goes my coconut milk. Then I'm going to go in with uh, my cream of coconut. And guys, you want to shake this up real good because everything is the, the cream is settled from the liquid. So you want to shake it up and get everything together and just pour in in your blender. Yes. So you just pour everything in. Then I'm going to go in with my condensed milk. Right here, they use the whole can of condensed milk, but I'm thinking it's it might be too sweet because coconut is sweet. So I just did about three quarters of the can. So this recipe also asks for a can of evaporated milk, but instead I'm going to substitute that for a cup of oat milk. You can use um, whatever milk you prefer. You can use almond milk. I'm just using one cup of oat milk right here. I must say though, whatever milk you choose to use, make sure it's unsweetened because it, that will help to cut back on some of the sweetness. I'm going to go in next with some cinnamon. You know, not too much because you don't want it to be too cinnamony. Yeah. Then I'm going to grate some nutmeg. Nutmeg, um, I think maybe about a teaspoon and then the cinnamon about a half a teaspoon. So yeah, I'm just using fresh um, nutmeg here. If you have the, the, if you don't have fresh, just you use what you have. It's okay. And I'm gonna go in with um, my rum next. So like this recipe called for about maybe a whole cup of rum, but I'm just gonna use maybe about one third of a cup. Not too much because I cannot handle rum. And this is it. You're just gonna blend this together. top of my blender so I just keep my hand there. my hands are clean guys so you're in your kitchen your hands supposed to be clean and of course at this point you do a taste test to make sure you know everything tastes good I'm putting in some more nutmeg just for good measure why not yeah the cinnamon, not too much. The nutmeg you can put more of because the nutmeg is just is what's going to give it that eggnog flavor. And yes, I had my vanilla. Yeah. And blend again. And that's it. So 
careful then you get your glass jar and make sure it's nice and clean you put a cinnamon stick in it and then you pour your drink and then you're just gonna allow this to sit they said the longer you make it sit the better the flavors will infuse and come together so I had mine sitting for two days actually before I tried it so yeah I'm just topping it off with some cinnamon put in the lid on and put it in the fridge let me tell you guys you need to try this drink you do so this is two days later and I am pouring it it's kind of thick and I'm thinking maybe I needed some more milk because I just added that one cup of milk instead of the, ev the kind of evaporated milk yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and add some almond milk because I was out of oat milk and just shake it up so I let this sit for another day before trying again so this is it today my birthday that I'm pouring it again and gonna give it a second try and as I said it's very delicious so it didn't take away from the taste it's just the thickness why I added the milk so remember add unsweetened milk mm. listen you need to try this drink don't take my word for it try this drink guys mm. and as I said before if you're on a diet forget it because it's gonna be addicted you will want more it's like eating drinking melted ice cream literally that's what this tastes like so thank you all so much for watching and if you make this drink tag me and let me know comment down below let me know what you think about it and to my puerto rican friends thank you for this drink and what can i say from my from your jamaican sister what good Mwah. Love you.